Well, good afternoon. It is uh, Wednesday, January 6th, 2021. Um, and I guess I'm venting. I, I don't know. Um, I just got off the telephone uh, after a support call. And like most support calls, it was anything uh, other than satisfying. I mean, with the possible exception of a call to Apple Care, uh, most support calls don't go well. This was no exception in that regard. Um, neither did the chat that accompanied it, uh, the live chat that accompanied it. Uh, I don't know why some companies refer to their service as service when it's the antithesis of that. Uh, but this one left me angry and, and upset and, and caused me to think uh, a great deal about uh, the seminars that I used to give across the country quite often and the the instruction, education, training that I offered shop owners when it came to uh, the very nature of service and, and how to do a better job of building relationships with clients and customers for life. And a, a, one of the visuals that I used was was really something that I fall back on to this day uh, as a tool to help understand service and service delivery and value. Um, and it's simple. If you close, you close your eyes and you think about taking your left hand reaching into your pocket, if that's where you keep your cash, uh, if you have cash, uh, or your right hand and, and put in your pocket to get your wallet, if your right front pocket is where you keep your wallet. Um, but wherever it is that you keep your resources, your cash, your money, your credit cards, reach in and grab them and put them down on the table and then slide them to the other end of the table. If you're going to do that in a commercial interaction, you expect something in return. And I've told people for years that that service should move in a direction equal to an opposite of cash or resources. In other words, whatever it is that I'm being asked to pay should be balanced with whatever service or whatever goods I'm receiving in return for that payment. Um, especially if you define value as the ability of a product or service to meet or exceed a customer's wants, needs, or expectations at a certain time at a certain price, which is how I de define value. And I define it that way because it's the only way you can measure it, in my opinion, anyway. Um, if you've got a different way or a better way, I'd certainly be, be really interested in hearing about what it is. Uh, that's all about creating reasonable expectations for the service interaction. And uh, the importance of managing those expectations is critical as well. So you want to create a, situ a situation where the, where the quality of service um, meets or exceeds expectations. Uh, and when it doesn't, you usually have a, a problem with buyer's remorse. And, uh, and, and buyer's remorse probably as good a definition as any is uh, regret or anxiety after after having made a purchase after making a purchase and generally a large one generally one that's expensive um, when the buyer is not convinced there is or was a better choice in other words when they're questioning questioning their own judgment um, the answer to all of this is really simple. It's not as complicated as you might think. Uh, if you're a service provider, know and understand what's expected of you, uh, what it is you promised, and then make every effort you can to over deliver. deliver. In other words, uh, under promise, over deliver. If you're a consumer, uh, know what you're buying. You know, really understand what you are entitled to, what you should expect from this transaction. Do the work necessary to ensure all of that uh, and, and to make sure that the choice you've made is the best choice you could make uh, based upon the information that's available at the time. And then, and then don't look back. Uh, I closed the written part of the blog this way. Uh, either way, recognize the movement for what it is, this reciprocal motion that occurs back and forth 
across the service counter uh, for what it's supposed to be, cash, um, resources, uh, for want of a better term, to compensate for service as opposed to service in lieu of and, and, and as a result for payment of that. As long as those two things remain in balance, uh, you, have, you have the foundation for a decent relationship uh, over time. And, and if it works in your behalf as a service provider, you can turn around and take a potential customer, turn them into a customer, and then turn that customer into a client, into a loyal and lifetime customer. Uh, think about that. It's worthy of thinking about, especially if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're in business, especially if you're responsible for providing service. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd be really interested. In the meantime, stay well and take care.